Welcome to Crafters Corner with the Gloucester County Library System. For today's edition, we are going to transfer an image, a graphic image, or you could take a photograph, onto a wood surface, such as a wooden box, or a piece of wood like this, or even a piece of furniture. We're going to take the image and coat it in Mod Podge and lay it on top of the wood surface and let it dry for overnight. You have to be patient and let it dry thoroughly so that the image can transfer. After letting it dry overnight, we will rub it with a cloth and take off the backing paper and then you'll be left with the image on a wood surface. All right, I have my image here cut out and I'm going to coat it with Mod Podge. Try and center it, and I'm going to press it down, make sure all the edges are pressed on, and then let it sit overnight until it is completely dry. Then after it sits and dries, we will use a damp cloth to wipe away the white paper. Back with our wood that has the um, the graphic glued to it with Mod Podge and it has dried overnight it's completely dry so now I'm going to take a wet cloth and gently start rubbing on the paper because I want to wipe the paper away. see my bird on a branch. I'm going to re-wet my cloth and you just get it damp. You wring it out well because you don't want a lot of water pooling on your surface of your um, your wood. And you don't want to rub too much after the white backing paper comes off because then you can rub the actual image off. So. Actually, I think my cloth is wet enough. And you can also take your finger to rub off. There I have my image. I'm going to let the wood dry. Come back to it, see if I need to rub off any more paper. And then you can always use a clear acrylic spray to seal it and give it a little bit of a gloss. Um, that will help protect it. And then you can hang it or do whatever you want with it. Maybe you do a tray, a wooden tray, or do a board like this and then you can hang it on your wall um, or a box like I showed you before. <laughs> 